Uh, hey guys, just want to talk some more philosophy and um, more evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet. And, you know, we're all trying to, you know, f you know, save the world through blockchain, through politics, through whatever. But in the end, like, really, God is the only one who's going to save us. And the faith in God and the real prophets are the only things that are going to save us. So, um, you know, more evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet. It occurs in Deuteronomy chapter 18. You know, um, Moses said the promise to send, you know, under the promise to send a, a prophet. At the end of that, um, you know, uh, ver uh, end of those verses, it says, You may wonder how you could tell when a prophet's message does not come from the Lord. If a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, and what he says does not come true, then it is not the Lord's message. That prophet has spoken on his own authority, and you are not to fear him. Um, you know, the reason this like significantly shows that Muhammad was a false prophet was because when he was poisoned by a Jewish woman, he said that he would not die from the poison. Like he said that he would not die. So if he claims to be a prophet, preach the words of the Lord, then says he will not die from the poison that a Jewish woman gave him. And then five years later, or so many years later, he died with poison found on his palate and his friend died um, from the poison. So, um, it is obvious that his authority was not given to the Lord, but on his own authority. And because he made a prediction that did not come true, that shows us that he was not sent from God. Where Jesus' predictions came true, most all the prophets' predictions ended up um, coming true. Um, so, just something to think about. Like, because we all want to try and save the world through politics, um, you know, media blockchain, you know, any technology, whatever it may be, um, you know, it's really not going to be saved by any of that. It's going to be saved through the word of the Lord and the faith in God and the faith in Jesus Christ and the prophets and Moses. Um, the reason I'm expressing this view is because I don't really, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, it's good to accept all religions. Like, I don't spew hatred at people that, you know, practice religion. I'm not one that judges them. I do not judge them. But it doesn't mean I have to accept it as a truth, as truth from God. You know, I don't have to accept, um, I, I can say that that religion is false. You know, I don't have to say, oh, well, I accept any, any religion. Like, if there was an Islamic person, I'd be willing to argue why their faith is incorrect. It doesn't mean I'm going to murder them or kill them or, you know, spew hatred at them. But I, it's my attempt to save them, save their soul in the sense that, you know, it's not that Islamic people are bad people either, but it's just if you're, you know, there's a lot of Christians who are bad people and a lot of Muslims who are good people. It doesn't work like that. It works with your practice, but you cannot practice as well if, you're, if your laws are, are skewed and, and um, one thing. And also he was poisoned by, you know, it was the poisoning of a lamb, which is pretty significant in the sense that he kind of took the word of the lamb and kind of poisoned it himself. So it's a little symbolic there. Um, just something to think about and, you know, think before you kind of just switch religions or whatever it may be. Make sure you really understand the the laws of Judaism and, and, um, and also Christian laws. I mean, Moses said that if he made a prediction and the prediction was incorrect, then he was not a prophet. And he made the prediction that he would survive the poisoning, and he did not survive. He was not a prophet. So just something to think about. Peace.